Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Business Connect. My name is Roy. If this is your first time joining us on this channel, here I do videos about my life in China. I share the experiences I went through in China as an international student and presently I'm working in China. So I share my experience as an expert here in China. So if you're interested in such content, don't leave this video without hitting that subscription button. That's if you're not yet a subscriber. So that when we bring videos like this, YouTube will notify you and you'll be the first to watch our videos. So in today's video, we'll be talking about one of the most important documents that you need to apply for an X1 visa, that is a student visa. This is the visa that permits you to come into China as a student. This document is the medical report or the physical examination as it is called. One of the documents that you need in your application process is usually a physical examination report. So since I started uh, assisting students to get admission in Chinese universities, I've noticed that a lot of students have been having difficulties on how to go about this document or how to go about getting this document. That's why I've decided today to do an exclusive video to talk about what the medical report is all about and how to get your medical report done. So most universities will require you to do a medical checkup in your country before you come to China. But some universities will allow you to come to China before you do the medical checkup. But the thing is, even if you do the medical checkup in your country, once you arrive in China with your medical report, you have to do another cross verification of your medical report. That is, you have to do like a medical checkup all over again. So the medical report that you will bring from your country will look like this and the medical report or the medical examination that you will do in China will look like this, which means that once you're in China, you're going to do the medical process all over again. Now, where do you do the medical checkup in your country? Normally, you have to download the medical form from the embassy website or maybe from the school website or from the scholarship website. You can find it in different websites. The document look like this. I'm going to display it on the screen. You're going to download this document and take to a designated hospital to be very sure of which hospital is uh, required or which hospital is accepted. You need to verify with the school or with the Chinese embassy in your country because not all hospitals are accredited to carry on the medical checkup. So you have to download this form and take it to the hospital to undergo the various test so during this examination they're going to do a series of tests from different stds they're going to check your eyes they're going to check your ears they're going to check your heartbeat they're going to do x-ray to check if you have any problems in your chest that is they're just going to do a thorough body scan of every part of your body to see if you're physically fit to undertake studies in china the cost of the medical checkup will vary from hospital to hospital and from country to country. Different hospitals will do it at different cost. What you have to know is that the designated hospitals will normally do it at the cheapest rate. But the hospitals that are maybe not designated, they can still do the test but they will do it at a higher cost. So try and find out in your country which hospitals are designated. And also for your confirmation, I'm going to leave a link at the description box where you can also download the physical examination form, should in case you don't have it. And also normally in the morning of the physical examination day, you don't have to eat anything, you don't have to drink anything. At least you can drink water only, but you don't have to drink anything apart from water. And you don't have to eat anything until the test, until all the tests and the scans are complete. Because they have to scan your entire system and you have to get up that morning very fresh for the test before you can eat anything. So when you're going for the physical examination, you need to go with the, with the form that you've downloaded because the hospital will not have the form. You have to download and print out the form. You have to go with, I think, one passport size photograph and you have to go with your passport because the information that should be filled on the physical examination form should be exactly the way it appears on your actual passport. Normally, after the examination, you cannot get your results the same day. You have to wait for about five or seven days. And some hospitals will post the results to you. Uh, in some hospitals, you have to walk there by yourself to pick up your results. Once you have your results, then you can use it as one of the documents to apply for your admission 
and to apply for your visa because sometimes uh, uh, when you go for the when you go for the interview the interviewer might ask to see your medical report some will ask some will not ask so it's a very important document not only for your admission but also for your visa interview and now once you've had your visa and now you're in china within the first three or four days as you arrive china you have to go for another medical checkup now you will go with the document that you brought from home as a physical examination and the doctors here in china i don't know maybe they don't trust the test that we bring from home you have to do another verification test like a complete test again from the head scan to the eye scan to the chest scan the blood test stds everything they have to do another test again then you will have this document that i'm going to display on the screen this is what you're going to use in china for medical verification and here in china you have to pay again for medical examination i think it's about 400 yuan so when you're making your budget for the first few days make sure you include this medical examination fees into it i think that's it about medical examination if you have any questions as far as medical examination is concerned please let me know in the comment section below and if you're still doubting about the whole application process or if you have any question or you have any worry about studying in china living in china working in china anything you want to know i'm going to leave our contacts on the screen get to us and ask your questions and we are ready to help you to achieve your dreams here in china this is business connect please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed so that when we bring videos like this you will be notified i'll see you in our next video as usual peace out and bye bye